here at the F&B Wines to Wales, the route is king. And part of the story of the route is the Cape Trail guys, a dream team of guys who made this race what it is. Without them, this race wouldn't be as so special. They're a special bunch of guys. And I don't think anyone who's ridden the trails here will ever disagree with that. It speaks for itself. You know, the farmers here, you know, they've done their own trails and so on. But they've included the Cape Trail guys for some help, you know, guidance on how to build. So there's continuity and a, and a certain level of quality of build. Trail development or trail building in the Western Cape is, that's the way your brain is wired, bro. They build a flow to a trail. It rides nicely. It's fun. It's flowing. And that also takes a keen eye. And these guys build them to handle the rigors of three events, 1,200 riders per event going through there. That's a lot of traffic and they last. Because they ride bikes, they also know how it feels. But they ride everything they build, which I think adds to their quality. So I just get normally landowner permission. They go in, they build. And now these days, I just go and check them like weekly or two weekly. I think the success of, of this race can only be attributed to somebody like JK and the Cape Trail guys.